These are scary times, but none more so than the past two weeks for our Prime Minister. You see, Justin Trudeau has placed all his eggs in one basket, and that is to propagate fear, division, and even hatred amongst Canadians. He's used the pandemic to his political advantage by pitting one group against another, the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. He has used language with proven effectiveness by former dictators to segregate and vilify a certain minority group, calling them racist, misogynist, anti-science, and questions whether this group taking up space as he calls it, should be tolerated. But what happens when the villains of Trudeau's story rise up and say enough is enough? You get the Freedom Convoy, where thousands of truckers drive across the country demanding change. Now, before they even crossed into Manitoba, Trudeau tried to vilify them even further, calling them tinfoil hat-wearing fringe minorities with unacceptable views. But this statement had the opposite effect and only emboldened convoy drivers, those cheering for them on every overpass and people cheering with excitement from home. As millions of people descended into our nation's capital, Trudeau was confused and terrified. But rather than doing what a prime minister should, which is finding resolution and bringing his country together, he ran away. Now, there is no way he couldn't have seen this coming. He's abused, vilified, wedged, and manipulated this small fringe minority for the past two years just for political gain. He snubbed his nose at his fellow Canadians and backed them into a corner, leaving them no choice but to fight back. Countries around the world with lower vaccination rates are opening up. Canadians have been patient, but with a 90% vaccination rate, that patience has worn incredibly thin. Now you can't help but laugh at Trudeau's scoffing, especially when you see current poll numbers from think tanks like Meru and Abacus. His popularity has plummeted, and the majority of those polled stated that Trudeau has looked weak and should step down as leader of the Liberal Party. And not only that, but four of his own party MPs have spoken out against him and his heavy-handed measures. Quebec Liberal MP Joel Lightbound stated that we don't have to vilify those who disagree with us on that front, and called for an end to the divisive rhetoric. But what did Trudeau do in the face of this mess that he created? He's dug his heels in and is pushing for a 100% vaccination rate before he even considers lifting the mandates, even though science proves otherwise. He hoped that this strategy would bring more people to his side, but that stubborn arrogance has had the opposite effect, not just in Canada, but around the world. Elitist politicians and biased media can demonize this demonstration all they like, but anyone can go to any social media platform to see live streams of what is actually happening in Ottawa for themselves. You won't see racist, violence, or destruction, but what you will see is hugs, smiles, dancing, laughter, bouncy castles for the kids, live music, taking care of the homeless, and most importantly, a beautiful and peaceful show of what humanity has to offer also see the change that this convoy has already produced. The CPC have ousted their leader Aaron O'Toole. Alberta, Saskatchewan, Quebec, PEI and Manitoba are removing some of their mandates and the Liberal Party themselves are finally free to speak out against Justin Trudeau. Canadians from all walks of life have been pushed too hard for too long and they are finally pushing back. The arrogant elitism of Justin Trudeau has backfired on him and Canadians are now more united than ever. Get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. It really doesn't matter to me. That's a choice you've made for yourself. This is what all of this is about. A choice that should be yours and yours alone to make. Trudeau has a choice all his own to make now. Does he double down on mandates or does he do what a prime minister should do and listen to the people of this country who want to see an end to the mandates? The world is watching and waiting to see if the political theater, prime ministerial power trip and government overreach will come to an end in Canada, or if Trudeau will become like one of the tyrannical leaders he idolizes so very much. Only time will tell.